So this is the Opus BTC3100 version 2.2 battery charger capacity tester. It comes with an outlet to 12 volt adapter. It's 12 volts at 3 amps or you could run it off of a vehicle battery at 12 volts. And it has four slots. Now slot number one and slot number four are special in that they can go up to two amps charging. So if you want to charge something like this that's you know it's going to be six amp hours, um, you probably want to use slot one or slot four for that. When you put something in it's going to show the voltage um, and it has a default half amp charge rate. If you just leave it there it will start charging it at that rate. Um, so you can see now, right now it's charging. If I hit the display button, I can change and say, okay, what's the voltage? How many milliamp hours have you put in so far? Um, if I want to change the mode, I can basically press and hold the mode key here. And right now it's doing it for all of the slots. So I have discharge, I can do discharge refresh, I can do a charge test, I can do a quick test. So the quick test basically tests the internal resistance of the battery. And so that is 55 milliohms right there. And so if you are changing modes, so for example you put in charge mode and you say, hey I want to change this current up to 2 amps, you can just let it sit there and eventually it'll accept it, or you can push the slot button once and that will lock that in. And so now it's trying to charge this thing at 2 amps. And if we look at the display here, it's 3.7 volts, it's putting in milliamps. Time is showing how long it's been charging it, and it's you know almost 2 amps going in right now. Now it has multiple slots, so you can charge four cells at once. Um, and it, this guy here will work with lithium ion batteries or with NICAD NIMH batteries. So you can use different chemistries in different slots at different times. So I'm going to put in a uh, small NIMH cell here. And it's at 1.44 volts. It says charge and it has 500 milliamps and that might be a little high for what I'd want to do there. Um, but it's already started accepting it so I'm going to move the slot, push it four times to get over to this guy here and then you can't just change the current. Um, once it starts going you're stuck. The only way to reset is to put this thing out and put it back in. Um, at that point I can go through and change current settings and I don't want to do 2 amps, I'm going to do 200 milliamps, so 0.2 amps. And then if I hit the slot button it'll start charging that thing at 200 milliamps. And it's possible to do different operations for different um, things. So right now it's all charges but if I hit, and this one's full, and so if I move the slot to a particular one I can change the mode of that particular one so for example I could say well I want to discharge this guy at half an amp hit the slot button and then that guy's going to start discharging at half an amp there. Um, let me hit the display you can see the volt is 1.45 milliamps discharge so far is zero time is zero Alright, so we're charging these two, we're discharging that one, we're charging this guy. And that's basically all there is to this. A um, couple of hints and tricks. The um, backlight here will turn off automatically. And so if you do not want the backlight to turn off, you can press the display button and hold the display button for five seconds. And if you hold the display button for five seconds, it locks the light on continuously. And so now the backlight won't turn off ever. Um, if you want to get rid of that, you have to press and hold the display button for three seconds, and that gets rid of that. Um, that's about it. It does what it's supposed to do. It says it'll go up to uh, 
20 amps of charging capacity or discharging capacity. Um, it discharges, it's not able to discharge at the full um, 2 amp rate, for example. Um, so I think the discharge is, is half an amp coming down. Um, or maybe, I, I think maybe you can do a, a full amp discharge, but that's the max discharge on it. Um, the only real downside I see is that it's pre-configured for a particular type of lithium-ion battery. So it has, you know, NICAT and NIMH, it works it just works with those. Um, with lithium-ion, it's your standard cylindrical cell type. Um, it will charge them up to 4.2 volts. I found it's 4.18 in actual practice. Um, and when you discharge, it'll go down to uh, 2.8 is what it says. Um, although once I took it out, it had, the cell voltage had bounced back to 3.15. So I think it goes down under load until it hits 2.8 and then it stops discharging. And so you... Um, if that's the type of cell you have, that's the voltage range for your cells, it's good to go. Um, but there's no way to change the voltage range. So either NIMH, NICAD, or that particular type of lithium ion.